Hi, all of you. Uh, today I am going to discuss with you one of the very very important, uh, uh, I'll say, uh, domain of your uh, uh, CV or resume preparation. And this is also very frequently asked in the uh, almost all the interviews. That is, what is your hobby or your interest? Now, uh, whenever this question is asked to you uh, about your hobby or interest. Uh, in my opinion everyone has some hobby or interest but uh, you have not uh, thought of it and you have not uh, done proper homework on it and there is a reason uh, you do not write that in resume or you hesitate or you keep on writing the very common hobbies or uh, uh, interest uh, when I see the CVs of the student and in the interview when they go uh, in the PSUs or uh, IMs or uh, wherever they go for interview civil services etc so this is very frequently asked question but majority of the students have only couple of hobbies to show uh, let's say watching cricket playing cricket watching movies listening music these kind of hobbies common hobbies this is something which they like actually and this is something which they do uh, that comes to your mind in the uh, uh, first instance but uh, the hobbies or interest uh, actually is one domain from which I can understand you as individual how you will differentiate you from the rest of the crowd that is what this domain is uh, I want to find out what is the unique uniqueness in you uh, why you are an interesting character why you are an interesting personality I want to know that and are you uh, some kind of innovative person I mean are you investing your energy in particular domain uh, which can differentiate you from others it's like this that if in the class of 50 students let's say uh, 30 students have the same name one student has unique name the teacher memorize or remembers the uh, student who has a unique name if everybody is having same name I'll not uh, I'll not remember him or uh, when you uh, keep your name also nowadays earlier though uh, any name used to be kept by parents but nowadays when you keep name then some innovative name is kept so that everybody remembers that name uh, hobbies and uh, interests are similar to that you have to tell your hobbies or interest in such a way that uh, somebody who is listen listens to that he is uh, inquisitive or interested to know further that what is this what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of that so uh, hobbies and interest is one domain where you can pull the interview in your direction and you have to write very uh, meticulously uh, about your hobby and uh, uh, interest uh, in my opinion I am not saying you to coin a new hobby for you or you write wrong uh, false you don't write the false hobby or uh, interest don't tell lie that this is my hobby don't do that because uh, he will catch you if you by mistake if you if you say my friend has written this and he has got good marks so i will also write that that is not going to work either you find out the one for you or uh, uh, now you have time after this uh, discussion which which i have with you you try to identify what what uh, hobby you want for your for you or you already have that and give it a very interesting name so that a person who uh, listens to this or reads your hobby he is inquisitive or he is interested to know further about your hobby and discusses with you for some more time so that is what the purpose is now what should be there in hobbies and interest first what is the difference in hobby and interest hobby is something which you pursue regularly almost uh, uh, every second day or third day you are doing it hobby is done on regular basis and hobby is something which is uh, relieving you from mental tension or regular fatigue or it gives you energy you enjoy it, enjoy it. you uh, get uh, energy or motivation when you do that interest is something which you like and uh, this is something which you want to do in your life a long term perspective you may not be doing this now presently so hobby is regularly done it is basically done regularly and this occasionally you do and you want to do it in the long term perspective later on when you get time this is your interest something like that uh, like uh, uh, social uh, activities whatever you do you want to join NGO you want to do something for poor people that can be your interest which you want to do once you get settled in your life hobby is something which you are doing regularly like you are teaching the poor kids almost every day or every second day that is your hobby which you do regularly so in uh, resume he will give you hobbies and interest and ask you what is the difference between the two you say sir hobby is done regularly interest is something which i pursue occasionally once in three months or once in a year or something but i want to do it later on second thing you should know uh, what is required in hobbies and interest as i told you that i want you to have a good hobbies or interest what is required what are the ingredients of that hobbies and interest these are the ingredients of that it should look like innovative innovative means somebody who listens to this he says, yes yeah this is really good what you are doing is really good he becomes interested in your interest that is the meaning of it unique uh, not everybody as i told you watching cricket playing cricket every second boy is writing that listening music watching movies everybody 
somebody is doing that i don't want that interesting as i said uh, it should look like interesting uh, your interest should be interesting it should not be boring actually uh, you are uh, saying this is my hobby but it should look like okay what is uh, what i have never heard about this and it should be uh, uh, unique and interesting i have never heard about it it is not that in every resume i am reading the same so i am not interested in that even i will not be motivated to ask you any question from that if you write uh, every student is writing uh, watching cricket playing cricket no interviewer is so fed up is so uh, basically disinterested in a discussion of this topic with you he is not finding it interesting so your hobby should look like interesting specific is very very important word specific specific means do not keep your hobby generic do not say i watch watching movies what kind of movies do not say reading books what kind of books do not say uh, photography what kind of photography uh, do not say listening music say what kind of music do not say dance say what specific type of dance so you need to go to specific and once you add a specific word that gives individuality to you no everybody likes watching movie hardly there will be any uh, fellow who will not watch movies but do you think everybody enjoys the same movies no somebody like uh, uh, romantic movies somebody motivational inspirational comedy movies horror uh, mystery movies so everybody has a individuality where is your individuality can you show your individuality in your ho hobbies and interest that is something which is important so i'll say specific is something which is related to individuality and i want that that individuality in the hobby whatever you are writing so your hobbies and interests should be very interesting unique something new i have heard creative innovative and individuality should be reflected in that this is something which is required now over the period of time now i have gathered i have thought of some hobbies which i want to discuss with you this entire list you need to have some patience but believe me once you go through this you will get some idea and maybe you will coin a very good term for you also now uh, some hobbies i want to discuss with you is uh, and i will also discuss with you hobbies and interest may what is the difference like bird rearing bird rearing means uh, whenever some birds are there in my balcony i am giving them some kind of uh, corns or some kind of uh, things to eat and i i play with them so like pigeon is there like parrots are there in the village if you are from the village side you can reflect your individuality of the village in this thing sir i i like bird rearing hundreds of birds are there in my village small sparrows are there so that is what i do bird rearing can be good hobby now this is something which you do on regular basis rearing means you are giving water to them or you you can show your kind of social inclination also like nowadays they don't get water because water bodies are scarce in uh, uh, cities so i keep small ball in which i have water in that and some grains are also there so i give them food to eat and water to take water to drink so birds rearing is my hobby now this is regularly you are doing and in the interest i've written somewhere create aviary now you see aviary is the house of birds this is aviary right now you have not created because uh, you need to have a space for that you need to channelize your energy for that but in future i will create a vary of different species of birds i like birds i rear them and but i want to have their some kind of their collection or a vary for them or house for them that is the meaning of creating creating a vary so hobby is a rearing bird and interest is to create a vary for the birds in future something like that okay uh, next hobby can be learn simple sentences in different languages to learn simple sentences in different languages let us say you want to learn hello now you tell me how much time it is going to take for you to learn hello in french russian chinese japanese something like that you it will not take you even more than one week so if you, today you decide to say that this is my hobby and whenever i meet a person why why different like uh, uh, international language why not indian suppose i meet somebody from telugu i i'll tell uh, telugu fellow hello in uh, uh, telugu that's very good or bengali or punjabi or marathi india is a diverse country there's a beauty of india so if you learn to say oh how how are you kemana chen kemcho you understand that how are you so different languages so if you learn five seven languages and if you know how to say hello in different languages you have done your hobby and in the interview panel there will be somebody from gujarat somebody from bengal somebody from uh, tamil somebody from uh, malayali somebody uh, from kerala so if you know to say even hello in different languages you have done your uh, uh, domain so make a small uh, book or in that book you just write how to say hello how to say how you are how are you something like that if you learn that becomes
becomes your hobby so learn simple sentences in different languages that becomes your hobby something like that you can learn bird rearing we have discussed okay uh, teaching mobile handling to senior citizens nowadays new mobile technology is coming senior citizens living here and you have to frame a story you have to say next door my neighbor is there his both kids are in america so he can uh, nowadays he can have a you know, video chatting with them so i taught him how to do this i realized that senior citizens their life can become so comfortable if i teach this thing to uh, senior citizens how to handle these things how to basically uh, talk to their kids and how to handle the mobile new technology is coming every day that is my hobby and you develop this hobby after one incidence where you taught this thing to your neighbor who was to talk to his son in america something like that so this can also be a good hobby for you okay operate operating youtube learning channel uh, now you see your pdf channel you must have seen many of my students are uploading the videos of their experience student in iit student in im student in nitty uh, student in engineering services psus i have told them that for the welfare of the students you do one thing you just interview other fellow i mean you sit and you just ask him from where you are how you clear this exam how you are finding this job so that entire now is a uh, purposeful social networking this is the era of purposeful social networking not social networking if you open youtube you should not wander you should not uh, open any channel you should open the channel for your purpose let's say you want to get informed uh, that okay i want to join psu or i want to join engineering services or i want to get into iits or i uh, how this fellow has gone for that experience you need to have lot of community so a, sim a single kind of community all technocrats uh, we have put on europedia.com now who is up, uh, putting the videos in that my students are only putting videos on that so there are some students like rahul is my student he is uh, putting videos of iit students he went to iit he graduated from there and then uh, he is into some job now so these guys are doing this hobby only learning channel operating youtube learning channel you can say sir i put many videos on your your pedia uh, education which is the basically dedicated channel for uh, technocrats or engineers world over so somebody who is doing a masters in washington state university he is telling indians that okay indian back home if you are a student my gre score was this this is very purposeful uh, social networking you are doing okay uh, similarly google mapping image contribution one of my student he told me that sir google mapping may when uh, there is a option that if some building is not there on google map or, uh, or milestone is not there on google map map and if you click it and send to them then they give you some kind of appreciation and this is my hobby and now they are uh, felicitating me because i have done a lot of such activities and they are felicitating me they are calling me to california or uh, they will uh, from entire india they have called some 100 people to california something like that he was telling me and that was his hobby actually he never thought that he will be called to america or something but he was doing it that okay this uh, milestone is not there on google map click it send to google and google is putting that uh, thing into that so any hobby which is related to technology which is related to engineering what you are already doing you can put that as your hobby purposeful social networking already i told you what is the meaning of purposeful sh social networking not social networking uh, uh, it's not like that if i'm at airport i click my photo and send to all my friends what they will do with your photograph it's not of no use purposeful social networking that if whatever you are uploading on youtube channel or whatever you are telling uh, on whatsapp whatever you are sending that should help somebody it should be of some use to somebody not unnecessary things you upload that you should not do so purposeful social networking is uh, another domain you should think of writing scientific editorials in newspaper and magazines writing scientific editorials in newspaper and magazines so you are a uh, avid writer suppose you are preparing for civil services or something then scientific domain whatever new scientific discoveries are there whatever you find uh, writing scientific editorial for newspaper magazine this is scientific makes it more specific because of your domain you can say political you can say uh, economic you can say uh, geographical anything but depending upon your specific field of interest you can write this also so this will become more specific and uh, uh, more helpful to uh, uh, people who are reading and your domain is also scientific domain you can also say uh, uploading scientific videos on youtube channel uh, scientific means related to your own domain you can make it even more uh, specific like robotics writing uh, scientific uh, uh, writing the editorial uh, in the field of robotics for newspaper or uploading the information about robotics in youtube channel something like that no astrology palmistry horoscope chiromancy this is the same domain 
uh, art or science of seeing hands and to tell you something that is called a palmistry so horoscope palmistry there are not of software nowadays which are actually doing this so you can say it is my hobby to read about palmistry or to know a little bit about the palmistry or chiromancy is the same thing astrology this is all science so how these all uh, planets are behaving for your welfare something like that you can say this is my hobby and you can start pursuing it you can tell this is the channel from which i am learning this is a channel which says that okay uh, practicing meditation meditation yoga but make it more specific if you are doing yoga what kind of yoga you have to be very specific meditation also what kind of meditation surat shabd dhun yoga meditation something like that you have to add very specific word into that uh, stand up comedy you can say sir i am a stand up comedian uh, i like comedy but if you write that you be prepared it should be right because they can ask you okay stand up and start doing comedy so you need to be prepared for that stand up comedian or singing they can ask you dancing i have I, I, my students have told me that sir i i wrote that i do bhangra they said okay you go and start doing bhangra so it can be there so you be very specific if you write these kind of things you need to do that now traveling if you have interest in traveling you can you can say travel log is my uh, hobbies where do you travel how do you travel sir i travel different terrains i go to different places on trekking so you can write it but make it more specific also okay inspirational talks many of you are already interested in uh, you must have seen inspirational videos you find some people talking very inspirational and you have that hobby try to inculcate that in you and try to basically develop that particular temperament further you can say sir inspirational talks is my hobby so they can ask you certainly okay then give some inspirational talk you say sir my favorite uh, inspirational talker is this he is he talks very well and i learn from him so that can also be made as your hobby okay meet famous people and and write about them your hobby you want to meet famous people they are going to ask you which famous people you have recently met that also you can say now in the photography you no know, you can be very specific in photography what kind of photography you do sir documentary i make documentary i do that right now i'm making a video only you no know, photography only i'm doing making a small video you can do that also like fashion photography movement photography capture movement capturing photography conceptual uh, photography on particular concept conceptual photography if the moment you write conceptual photography on your cv he is suddenly going to ask you what is the meaning of conceptual photography you say sir conceptual photography i want to do uh, fashion uh, photography i want to do moment capturing certain moments certain moments are very uh, rare moments so that is what i am interested how do you do sir i have mobile nowadays you have mobile cameras with you so you can show you can read, uh, find some word uh, what kind of photography you do something like that you can uh, show there now in the dance also no dance is a very broad domain what kind of dance do you go for rhythm make dance that is a one specific term as i told you it has to be specific which shows individuality what kind of dance if whatever region you are you can show this kind of region dance is my hobby i do that what music do you play you play harmonica flute drum acoustic guitar what do you play if you really do that just write it or you 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 are in college you no know, you have time you can learn some kind of musical instrument is always good you can learn some musical instrument it is going to take only 3 4 months but it relieves you from stress and you have identity okay that fellow who used to play flute even in the hostel you no know, i remember there used to be one person who used to play this uh, acoustic guitar beautiful an entire batch knows him nobody knows uh, the person who is scoring very high in uh, Um, marks in this thing because everybody is scoring good nowadays not a problem but the person who is playing acoustic guitar everybody knows him why because this is something which is unique in him individuality right so uh, be very specific what you are writing then reading what do you read sir i read the epic bibliography epic uh, i mean some kind of epic epic stories i am interested in inspirational quotes what kind of inspirational quotes whose quotes do you read inspirational books and then you remember some inspirational books also now he is going to ask you name some inspirational books which you have recently read then you have to tell what inspirational books i am going to uh, I, i read normally then watching what sir i watch movies don't say i watch movies say i watch animation movies specific term i watch co comedy movies sci-fi mov movies inspirational movies and then you start doing it also you start doing it if you say animation movies i watch you start practicing it also and when you say i watch an uh, animation movies in the interest you say making animation movies is my interest hobby is watching and making is interest once you get time you will start making the animation movies also 
कलेक्शन ऑफ द इंस्पिरेशनल मूवमेंट्स अगेन द सेम थिंग्स स्टोरीज ऑफ हीरोज ऑफ डिफरेंट वर्क सो आई हैव हॉबी ऑफ कलेक्शन ऑफ द स्टोरीज ऑफ हीरोज ऑफ डिफरेंट वर्क और डिफरेंट फील्ड देन इज गोइंग टू आस्क यू ओके कैन यू टेल सम हीरोज ऑफ डिफरेंट फील्ड विच यू नो दैट इज वट यू कैन टेल लिसनिंग वट डू यू लिसन विच म्यूजिक डू यू लिसन सर आई लिसन द न्यू अकोस्टिक म्यूजिक आई लिसन साइकेडेलिक म्यूजिक आई लिसन जैज म्यूजिक सो इफ यूज नो लेट मी सी सम मोर विच इज विच आर लेफ्ट इसी यू कैन से आई वॉच इंस्पिरेशनल स्टोरीज ऑफ एंटरप्रन्योर्स आई एम वेरी श्योर सम ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव सीन दिस अली बाबा चीफ जैक मा दैट फेलो इज क्वाइट इंस्पिरेशनल स्टोरी इफ यू वॉच हिज वीडियोज ऑन यूट्यूब यू पुट जैक मा ऑन यूट्यूब यू गेट लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज इंस्पिरेशनल वीडियोज एंड ही इज क्वाइट इंस्पिरेशनल एंटरप्रन्योर ही क्लेम्स दैट ही वॉज रिजेक्टेड मेनी टाइम्स ही वॉन्टेड टू सर्व इवन इन के एफ सी बट ही वॉज नॉट सेलेक्टेड एंड देन लेटर ऑन ही क्रिएटेड दिस कंपनी विच इज ई कॉमर्स कंपनी दैट इज अली बाबा इन चाइना एंड दैट इज अ वेरी फेमस स्टोरी ऑफ इंस्पिरेशनल स्टोरी नाउ so you say i watch inspiration story of entrepreneurs remember some entrepreneurs start watching their stories if you have that inclination uh, for becoming entrepreneur or otherwise also you can say uh, watching inspiration stories of entrepreneurs that can be your hobby okay to tinker with the scientific gadgets tinker means manipulation scientific gadgets means if you are a particular domain of engineering uh, let's say some students are in robotics uh, uh, society they keep on tinkering they keep on making certain things manipulating certain things uh, so that kind of nature if you have uh, if you are pursuing that then you can make that as your hobby you can write that you see uh, these things otherwise also you people do my only point is that you write this in such a way that it reflects your hobby and individuality and somebody who listens to this feels motivated to discuss with you okay what kind of scientific gadgets you are tinkering what you do with that what is the benefit of tinkering are you creating something new or you are doing reverse engineering so that is the meaning that is the reason you have to write that diary writing is a very generic term i have written it as generic diary writing uh how frequently do you write diary why do you write diary you can say sir uh, diary uh, writing related to uh, positive things happening with me not negative so that when i see the back i uh, see what are the positive things happening with me or certain anecdotes uh, certain anecdotes anecdotes means some happenings with you which you can remember or which you remember later on you will be very happy so that kind of things uh, anecdotes diary writing you can make it even more specific what do you write in diary i leave that on you uh, to add to your individuality by adding certain specific terms into that now what do you write in diary and start doing this also if you start doing it that becomes your actual hobby okay caring stray animals nowadays no as human civilization is increasing then uh, these animals are uh, losing their home that earlier used to be there for them now they are coming more and more into cities and they have pathetic life in the cities you must have seen the pathetic state of dogs or for that matter uh, these cattle in uh, uh, in the cities uh, they don't have water to drink uh, uh, and uh, because of the vehicles fast moving vehicles dogs you must have seen they come across very frequently they come across accidents with these vehicles so, so to take care of the stray animals uh stray dogs and all uh, one of my students she was having this uh, hobby to take care of the stray animals and she was genuinely pursuing that hobby and when she went to uh, for the interview uh, in upsc she was she said that the chairman uh, kept on asking about this particular hobby only for 15 minutes uh, how you do that uh, where do you take it if uh, you find some animal is injured what do you do that how do you feed uh, the animals and how many how do you want to solve the problem uh, this is the hobby one or two animals you can take care what about the interest you want to pursue in future what you will will you create some kind of uh, uh, stray animal uh, home something like that so this is what it uh, all uh, went this her interview and now if you have stray animal uh, if you have inclination to uh, do something for uh, stray animals you can write this also as your hobby now writing vocabulary mnemonics you know there are some difficult words in vocabulary uh, but they are very easy if you can make some kind of mnemonics uh mnemonics that means uh, some uh, link if you make uh just extirpate extirpate is a uh, term 
extrapate it is related to extrapate extrapate to basically reduce remove or something like that so uh, one of my students was telling sir i write mnemonics and you know sir this is so difficult word to remember extrapate but i related it with extrapate so uh, then it is easy for me to memorize uh, using that or a base 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 is low a base is to make somebody humiliate something like that you can think of uh, uh, any vocabulary mnemonic you can create a mnemonic and you can start writing mnemonic for suppose you have interview after 10 days uh, what stops you from starting uh, from writing the mnemonics of the vocabulary uh, innovative way you maybe some of you have very good uh, mnemonics also uh, to uh, link the words so that if you tell this word to me i will never forget that particular word so some uh, students may have that uh, gift so you can say uh, making mnemonics for some difficult words of english and memorizing those words through mnemonics that is my hobby and you can memorize some words for that interest is something which you want to pursue on long term like i told you, you know palmistry or horoscope uh, seeing is my um, uh, hobby palmistry as of now i see that on some channels or there there are some dedicated sites on which i do that uh, but i want to create algorithm since i am engineer i want to create algorithm for palmistry what is the meaning of that the moment somebody puts his hand on the scanner and the scan reads what kind of lines are there in your hands and then they match with some algorithm which i have created they will start telling you about uh, how your life is going to be what kind of person you are if I make that algorithm and, uh, and that uh, uh, algorithm gives the right prediction you understand what kind of revolution that will be so uh, you will pursue that interest in future uh, octet rule for palmistry you know what is the meaning of octet rule is if you see your fingers there are circles in your fingers and thumb there will be circles or there will not be circles some have circles some fingers do not have circle and their rule goes like if 10 uh, out of uh, these all 10 uh, your fingers and thumbs if uh, 10 out of 10 are circles you are a very uh, contented individual very satisfied individ individual saintly personality but suppose one is not there 10 out of 10 9 is there then you will keep on uh, pursuing for getting that one and you will keep on pursuing to get one more electron to complete the octet you know octet rule in chemistry so uh, you keep on pushing if you have nine you are a entrepreneur person you are pushing fellow you want something in life eight six similarly so every how many circles you have in your thumbs or fingers that tells you about your personality so you will say sir I am trying to create octet rule for palmistry I'll make one particular algorithm for that also the moment you put your fingers and all I will tell you what kind of personality you are that interest you want to pursue every have already discussed for different species of birds you want to have create high-tech recreational facility for uh, senior citizens so your hobby was you are teaching how to use mobile phones to senior citizens and your uh, interest is that you want to teach them uh, if, if you want to create some kind of high-tech recreational facility for them where they can come and enjoy that particular recreational facility you want to create that facility for them this is your interest create a dedicated YouTube channel like your PDA we have created uh, I always wanted to create a dedicated channel where all technocrats not Indian but world over technocrats come share their uh, uh, share their uh, experiences their success their failures everything and uh, uh, others get motivated through them and knowledge you see today is the information revolution era but only trouble is right information is not reaching the right person it is like uh, information explosion is there but you do not know which information is of your use and which information is to see which information is to avoid that is a main tension nowadays on youngsters so if you know that this is the information I am to get this will help me then that will serve the purpose so that information revolution will then become knowledge revolution with that intention we created a Europedia channel where all technocrats will come together and suppose you want to pursue MS okay you watch the videos of the students who are doing MS if you want to go abroad you watch the videos of the students who are going abroad if you want to get into ONGC you watch the videos of the students who are into ONGC and those are common students I do not want that only topper all in your rank one one, two three only their video should be uh, shown uh, their videos are not going to help you because they sometimes they are exceptional individuals gifted individuals videos are going to help uh, if some common ordinary or uh, some very mediocre fellow is telling that I failed thrice in this exam and then I'm a very mediocre fellow and then he succeeded if that video comes and if it shares his failures with you you will get motivated with that we created a Europedia channel you can also think of creating these kind of channels information becomes a knowledge and it serves the society or some purpose you can say that is my interest something like that 
now uh, i think i have discussed with you a couple of uh, hobbies and interest all these things which i discussed with you the purpose to discuss all this was that you are individual you are a uh, unique individual you need to show your uniqueness or individuality through your hobbies and interest i am sure you have it if you do not have it i i believe you will get some idea from it and you can pursue the one for you i'll be very happy if you have any other disc if you want to have any other discussions suppose you thought of something and you want me to tell you whether it is right or not you can shoot your question to me i'll be happy to answer you thank you